Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the Beamer Barn. Today we're going to be talking about BMW's heater core system, what can happen and what sort of symptoms you can get when the changeover valve fails and how to replace it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Now in front of me here, we have my 2008 E60 550i BMW, and it uses a heater core valve, which is similar to what a lot of other BMWs use as well. And this allows the car to have a dual stage climate control. What that means is that the passenger and the driver can individually control the temperature of the air conditioning system that comes out of the car. However, we do have an issue with the system right now inside the car. And let me go ahead and show you what's going on. Now my particular problem is that once I get the car warmed up and I turn the air conditioning on, if I let the air blow out from the center vents and the bottom vents, as well as the top, I notice that the top and bottom, they tend to blow out really hot air and the middle vents blow out cool air, no matter how I configure the air conditioning system. Now that's exactly why when I do have the AC on, I just have it set to use the vent here. But even then, when the car does get warm, I notice that this vent here for the driver, it spits out warm air from the bottom and cold air from the top. So it's kind of like lukewarm air coming from here and here. And the passenger side actually has much cooler air conditioning. And that tells me that the heater changeover valve that directs the coolant from one side to the other, that's what's failed. So here in the engine bay, the heater core valve is usually gonna be located in the same area. And over here on the driver's side of the car, up against the strut tower, you'll be able to see the two solenoids at the top of the valve. Now, if your car came with dual zone climate control, there are two solenoids. And if your car had the basic climate package, there'd only be one solenoid. And that basically allows the coolant to go into the heater core, which is inside the car, the air flows through it, and it warms it up so that you have hot air inside the car. When you have two solenoids and the dual zone climate climate control there's actually two heater cores built into one unit so you can warm up one side and not the other or both sides together and that allows you to have separate climate control like I said before so when this thing fails and we start to have climate that we really can't control at all that's when we know that we have to replace it so I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit of room around here we're gonna lift the car in the air and there is gonna be coolant coming out of those hoses so I'm gonna try to capture as much of it as possible but once we replace this we should be able to test this out and hopefully have cool air conditioning throughout the whole car. So let's go ahead and get to work. Now here, I was just really getting some plastic covers out of the way to get a better view of this heater valve. And I've got a special tool to remove some of these clamps that hold the hoses on. But if you don't have one of these, you can also use just some simple pliers to remove them. And one of the clamps was actually just a simple hose clamp. So I was able to loosen that using a quarter inch drive socket on it. And then we go ahead and pull the hoses off, start to drain the fluid, and soon enough we'll have the heater valve out and we'll be able to compare it to the new one. Now here is the changeover valve, diverter valve, heater core valve, redistribution valve, whatever you wanna call it. It has two solenoids here. This is your feed for the hot water coming from the engine and it goes into both these solenoids and whether they're opened or closed, that'll allow the fluid to flow to the heater core, heat it up and give you warm air. Now what's happened on this thing is that one of these solenoids has failed, it's stuck open and for that reason, we're stuck with hot air coming into the car, which is really annoying. Luckily though, Amazon actually has a replacement valve which is much cheaper than the one from factory and it's got really, really good reviews. A lot of people have used it and it looks exactly the same as the one from factory. So a little bit different in colors, but at the end of the day, I think it's gonna solve our problem. And this thing was just a couple bucks. So I'll put a link to this in the description down below. Be sure to check your fitment. I'm sure that there are tons of different versions that you can get for different models that'll apply to your BMW. But this one is for the E60. And like I said, I'll put a link to it down below. So now let's go ahead and install it in the car.
So now the new heater valve is installed and we've installed all the coolant that was spilled when we removed it. So in theory, it shouldn't need any more here. So let's go ahead now. We can put the car on the ground and then give it a test start and I'll show you guys the procedure for bleeding the coolant system to make sure that we don't have any air trapped in the heater core or in the valve now that we have replaced it. So it's really not that complicated. We're gonna go inside and turn the car on, first of all. Because of course we want the car to get to temperature and we want the water pump spinning. So what we're gonna do is turn the heat all the way up on both sides and the level of the blower motor really doesn't matter so I don't like to put it too high, but you wanna be able to feel that air coming out. And I need to open up some of these valves here for the air conditioning because I had them closed before it was annoying with that hot air coming through but now hot air is going to come through on purpose and we're also going to go ahead and open up the vents for the feet because before i had hot feet and that was the main concern i had cold air coming out right here and i had hot air coming out on the bottom which is very annoying so hopefully changing this valve solves that now we'll go ahead and let the car get up to temp and then i'll update you once we've got some hot air coming out here eventually well it's been a couple minutes and we have the ac blowing cold now well of course the heated works of course so we'll turn the heat on and the air compressor off and actually one thing is about this system that i don't like the e60s you have to use the little i drive knob to hit this up here so there it is hot air hot air all around and at the feet now what i've noticed is you know now you want to switch to air conditioned mode we're gonna turn the temperature all the way down. And we're also going to go ahead and adjust that. Let's go ahead and just leave it at the cold position. We'll put it all the way cold. So now in theory, it should get cold to all the vents. And it does, it's definitely cold, including this lower vent here. Although not as cold, I will say, as these uppers. But still, the foot vent down at my feet is so warm. It's like toasty down there. And it doesn't matter what kind of buttons I press and all that, but I just cannot get it to work correctly. So what that tells me is that we have, we've definitely fixed the heater valve problem. Cause like I said before, we had hot air coming out here and cold air coming out on this one. And it was because the heater valve was letting warm coolant over to this heater core and it was warming up my air conditioned air. So now what we have to do is we need to investigate the blower box because it has a ton of flaps which direct the air from you know one side to the other and all these vents and the vents that are on the hood as well and what my theory is is that one of the vents is probably stuck in a position probably just from this car not being driven much in the past couple years so we'll have to take care of that in an upcoming episode but for now i hope you guys enjoyed watching us change the heater valve on my e60 and hopefully this video helps you guys at home that are having issues with your e60 heater distribution not working from left to right but in my case i think i definitely need to take a look at the distribution box where like the blower motor is and all that because i think that we have an issue with those flaps that send the heat to the feet and stuff so definitely leave a like or comment down below what you think my issue is or if this video helped you out and subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't yet as always i hope everyone has an amazing day and we'll see you next time